Hello everyone, this is Fenris Lycon here for our achievement run of Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. We're playing as Brazil with the uh, rocket scientist. And I haven't seen this map. We have a pretty good start here with water revealed. We don't have any resources, but it looks like there might be some around. I did hunt out all of the underground entrances. This is what we're going to need to get underground. If you're not familiar with um, Beyond and Below, it adds asteroids where you mine them to get some exotic matter. You'll use that to build underground. Underground is very, very dangerous, so we're only going to have a small presence. But the achievement we're going for is get all the wonders. There's very specific ones underground. Get all of them built by Soul 100. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. It would be ideal if we could build around one of these. And so I think we're going to try and scan. So there is concrete and metals in these two locations. I'm going to use our two probes or three probes just to start. This is a location we can start at. In a starting location, we're looking for two things. We need concrete and we need surface metals. This has both of them. So we could start here and we might even want this is actually a good place for a dome too for research. Uh, we could also use our pro to potentially scan one of these other areas. And I think I will do that just to help. Perfect. Ah, oh, this is so, ah. Uh, we have a, a great dome location here for research. We have a great dome location here for uh, our first one in which to get more rare metals. We can use that to get more money, snowball. Uh, this is just beautiful. Now, let's get looking at our techs. If we go up, uh, we do have the elevator. This is the technology we need to actually get down underground very early. Um, we don't need vapor moisturizers because we do have the technology um, because we have a water deposit next to us. I think we'll go for the low G and maybe the applicants. I'm specifically looking in the tech tree for those research that gives us the flat bonuses. Now, let's get going on kind of landing. I think I'm going to do a little planning so I know exactly where to put the everything. And I think we're going to use the water extractor. So we do something around like this. I think that's going to be nice. We'll get our concrete extractor. I like to keep everything pretty close. It did they okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five is the dust range, and we're gonna want to put our water down. I want it a little bit further from the dome. Right. like there works and bring the pipes over and some power I want to turn the dome off I don't want them to start working on that right away and we can then land our rocket I'm going to put it towards this direction out of the way so we don't dust any of the things we're going to be building and it should put everything we want um, in range unless we want it a little bit closer just in case we build uh, rare metals I think that looks perfect uh, we also need a few sectors to scan so we'll do just around us I'm going to keep it a little bit on the slower side I'll speed things up just a tad the other things we're going to want is we want our concrete extractor to be prioritized. We're going to be kind of limited by how much concrete we can get. And this is a very low deposit. I think because of that, just to speed things up, I'm going to put two concrete extractors down. Uh, and if oh, this is also cold ground. I did not think about that. So we're going to need more power. Um, I think it's still worth 
building we do not have to worry about dust storms because we are going to get our water from underground so we don't need to store it and we'll also get our fuel refinery we're going to need a lot more infrastructure for power though we're gonna put this on low priority so we get everything else built first uh, I almost I'm also gonna put the rocket as uh, low priority so that when they have time to kind of unload they will do that last so if they have to just idle oops, I'm going to get some deposits for concrete and in your universal depot you always want to turn off fuel when you're producing fuel if they get stored here and it gets hit by a meteor a lightning strike anything like that you lose everything in the deposit so you want to have only fuel deposits on their own next we want to get our fuel refining so we can get our rockets going uh is there any metal we don't have any metals around us that are not um in our range of the drone so we don't have to really worry about picking them up with our transport i do want to just check power so we're going to need more power the question is do i just want to do solar um it would be nice to uh actually if we store the water sorry I'm gonna find a spot that's outside of our dust range here I think here I don't think this is in the cold but we will end up probably dusting it with the um, rocket so maybe we'll put it over here perfect we'll put pipes that way we can run this during the day, save the water, and run both of these during the night. With that said, we'll get some solar down. Um, I think I want to leave that spot to connect to, to the pipes. So if we do it over one or two... Hmm, I always like to jam everything together. That is the thing I do. And I always overthink it. If it fits so well there, we might as well put it. So we'll need two to power this during the day. That will happen over the night. So I'm not too concerned. In fact, we'll probably open this for the first soul. Uh, the night of it, at least. That way we get both of our extractor and fuel refinery going I think that looks good and we can get now the second concrete extractor down I should have probably laid this out a little bit better and I could have gone them closer together that's fine. With the very low grade, it's just going to take a long time to get up to the 80 plus we need for our dome and all the buildings we need inside of it. That is the one drawback of this location. The sooner too we get this rocket back. I'm kind of want to save our rocket Meteor on incoming. Earth. Oh. Of course, of course. We have to get hit by meteors. Have the whole map. Um, but I want to use the rocket we have on Earth to bring our colonists. So as soon as we're ready, we can bring them. We probably would be pretty close to having this fully refueled um, by the time we need it. And 
as I've mentioned, this is going to be... We're going to be aiming for achievement run. So the, the difficulty of this is uh, like 325, I believe. But doing something easier, it also has one of the easier rules turned on, which is included in that difficulty of increased production. It means we get more production from uh, everything, I believe. And here we go. We, you're, you, um, most of the time, in the first 20 souls, you get your two events. Your first one tends to be good, and your second one tends to be neutral or better. So the Great Leap. The Great Leap. Our scientist team on Earth has just made a daunting discovery. With the downpour of new scientific data from Mars, our team has made unheard of breakthroughs in the field. The effect. Advanced technology has been revealed in the chosen field. The new technology costs, um, it costs less to learn. I think, oh, there's a lot of good ones. There's, I don't know how far. I'm going to aim for robotics. There's a lot of good ones in robotics. So let's take a look. We got, um, factory AI, which is a good one. Unfortunately, we don't have any factories, but we can import them. We, we are going to need tons and tons of advanced resources for the wonders we need. So getting that early is not a bad thing. If they had social, I might have went for that one just to see if we can't get any of their research techs. And we're currently on super speed. So we have half the concrete. We'll start getting the dome going. Uh, we do have the polymers for that. That's the good news. Sector scanned. And we'll get our transport working at least on some of these metals to help the drones out. Uh, we can also, we should be able to close our sterling generator, save up on that maintenance. It only takes maintenance when it's op open. Um, but we only now need to run this during the day and we can use the water during the night from our tower. Uh, it's unfortunate we lost a drone because they're struggling to actually pick up the resources from our concrete extractor. Uh, oh, right, I forgot. We um, we do need this open for the day. I forgot we had two running, and we don't have the polymers to run a battery. So it, doesn't, it ends up not mattering too much, because we have to keep it open. So... I think actually, what, this is 20, oh, power production is actually up, uh, doubled too. That's why my num like, I'm like, ah, uh, these produ is producing, so that's one of the <laughs> changes in the rules too, makes things way, way more easy, easier, uh, which is exactly what we want on a achievement run. I will say, the increased production one is one I feel like should disable achievements, because it helps so much. Can you uh, help him out? Pull up the concrete. Trough everything off. Just close by. Or we'll allow the extractors to keep working. I think too. I will get a drone hub down. We kind of did not leave ourselves a lot of space between. Um, that doesn't get dusted between these ones. And I'm going to build a large terrifying too. Uh, is that totally out of the range? It is. I'll use some of our concrete. All of our polymers pretty much need to go towards our basic dome, so we do have to watch the maintenance on this. The other thing I should be thinking of doing sector scanned is putting a sensor tower down that will help us for disasters and help with the scanning around us, which we can then use to get more resources with our transport. All right. 
they are close to a milestone. Whoops, I meant to just check what milestone that was going to be. Hey, hey, leave us alone. Scan anomaly. Uh, okay, let's actually do our cargo rocket. I want a transport. I want a commander. I want polymers. I don't need that many. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not used to having so much money freed. We're going to be doing the... Um, we could do another fuel refinery. I do like having two. I think we do some more machine parts. It would be nice to get enough for a dome. And some food so we don't have to do farming. I think that will be pretty good. In fact, if we go a little bit less, more do uh, drones would actually help too. Those are actually kind of tough to... Uh, you're limited on how many you can bring in a rocket. So I think we'll do that. We'll have this one in time to actually uh, pick up our colonists. I should have probably brought these guys down pretty much as soon as possible. There we go. Uh, we have our drone hub up. We can send you over. Uh, whoops. Come on, guys. You have to unload the rocket. We should probably be good now with this fully closed. And we're just waiting for the rocket to unload. We'll have our dome built, and I think we'll call it the end of the episode there. I'll be able to then go and review, make sure my audio sounds great before I record more. Alright, let's get you Milestone going. Milestone achieved. And that is a rocket launch and our first don't. Research complete. I think we're off to a very good start, except I probably didn't choose more technology. I should have queued up, but small mistakes. I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'll actually make sure I prioritize my drone hub getting power. See you guys. This is Friendly Slycon signing off.